Hello, welcome to Biology, the scientific study of life. 20 at protests. Award in a drop of water. Even a low power light microscope can reveal an astonishing miniature of organisms in a drop of band water. Some of these tiny organisms uh, propel themselves with webbed flagella, while others creep uh, along by means of blob like appendages. Um, protests um, in the past taxonomists classified all the protists in a single kingdom protista however advances in eukaryotic systematics have caused by the kingdom of a crumble it has become clear that the protista is in fact uh, but a fight but a um, phyletic some uh, protists are more closely related to plants fungi or animals than they are to other protists as a result, the kingdom protista has been abandoned and various lineages of protista are now uh, recognized as kingdoms in their own right by some biologists. Most biologists still use the term protists by only as a convenient uh, way to refer to eukaryotes that are neither plants, animals, nor fungi. Protists are uh, an extremely diverse assortment of eukaryotes. Given a a paraphyletic nature of a group no once uh, called protista is uh, it isn't surprising that few genera characteristics of uh, protists can be cited without exceptions in fact protists exhibit more structural and functional diversity than any other group of organisms most protists are unicellular although there are some clonal and multicellular species uh, unicellular protists are just uh, justifiable considered the simplest eukaryotes but at the cellular level many protists are ex um, exceedingly complex the most uh, elaborate of all cells we should ex uh, expect that uh, this of organisms that must carry out within the boundaries of a single cell the basic functions performed by all all of the specialized cells in multicellular organisms uh, protists are the most uh, nutritional uh, diverse of all eukaryotes some protists are photo autotrophs uh, containing uh, chloroplasts some are heterotrophs absorbing organic molecules or uh, ingesting larger food particles still others call it mixotrophs combine uh, photosynthesis and heterotrophic nutrition photo uh, autotrophy uh, heterotrophy and mixotrophy have all arisen independently in many protist lineages Distinguishing these nutritional modes helps us to understand the rules of protists in biological communities. In such an uh, ecological context, we can divide the protists into three categories. Photosynthetic plant-like, protista or allergy, uh, in, um, <clears throat> Ingest, uh, ingestive animal like protists or uh, protozoans and absorptive uh, fungi like protists which have no other general name uh, however that although the term allergy and protozoan are useful in discussing protist ecology they do not refer to uh, monophyletic groups protist habitats uh, to our diverse must protists are aquatic and they are found almost any, anywhere there is water including moist terrestrial uh, habitats such as damp soil and leaf um, uh, litter in oceans uh, bounds and lakes many protists are bottom uh, dweller that attach themselves to rocks and other uh, substrates or creep through uh, the sand and silt protists are also important uh, constituents of uh, plankton uh, from the greek planktos wandering the communities of organisms that drift passively near the water surface uh, uh, phy phytoplankton uh, planktonic allergy and cyanobacteria from the foundation of uh, most marine and freshwater food webs in addition to these free living species many protists live as uh, some beyonds in other organisms reproduction and life cycles are are highly varied among the protists some protists are 
exclusively uh, asexual. Others can also reproduce sexually or at least employ the uh, sexual processes of muses and uh, synigme. All three basic types of sexual life cycles are represented among protists along with some variations that do not quite fit any of these types. We will investigate uh, the life cycles of several protist groups in this chapter. Uh, Endosymbiosis in eukaryotic evolution. What gave rise to the enormous diversity of protist that exists today? There is now considerable evidence that much of a British diversity has its origins uh, in endosymbiosis, uh, a process in which certain unicellular organisms engulfed other cells, which became endosymbionts uh, endo and ultimately organelles in the host cell, for example. The earliest eukaryote is probably acquired by Tocodaria by engulfing uh, alpha uh, protobacteria. The early origin of mitochondria is uh, supported by the fact that all eukaryote studied so far uh, either have mitochondria or show signs that they had them in the past. Biologists postulate, postulate that later in eukaryotic history, one lineage of heterotrophic eukaryote is acquired an additional uh, endosomboyant uh, photosynthetic cyan uh, cyanobacteria that then evolved into plastids in the model illustrated in this video. <clears throat> um, notice that this blasted burying lineage eventually gave a uh, rise to red allergy. Notice that. And the green allergy, this hypothesis are uh, supported uh, by the observation that the DNA of blasted genes in red allergy and the green allergy closely resembles the DNA of cyan cyanobacteria. In addition, blasted in red allergy and the green allergy are surrounded by two membranes uh, which correspond to the inner to the inner and outer membranes of the gram-negative cyanobacteria endosymbionts. Uh, on several uh, occasions uh, during eukaryotic evolution, red allergy and green allergy underwent secondary uh, endosymbiosis. They were uh, ingested in the food uh, vacuole of uh, heterotrophic eukaryotes, uh, eukaryotes and became endosymbionts themselves, for example, allergy known as um, uh, chlororachinafine. Uh, Fides the evolved when a heterotrophic eukaryote uh, engulfed a green allergy. This process likely occurred relatively recently in evolutionary time because the engulfed allergy still carries out photosynthesis with its plastids and contains a tiny uh, vestigial uh, nucleus of its own called a nucleomorph. A tiny uh, or a consistent. A cons <clears throat> consistent with a hypothesis that uh, a chlororachina fiat, uh, fiat evolved uh, from a, a eukaryote that engulfed another uh, eukaryote. Their plastids are surrounded by four membranes. The two uh, inner membranes originated as the inner and outer membranes of the ancient cyanobacteria. The third membrane, membrane is derived from the engulfed allergies, plasma membranes, and the outer must membrane is derived from the heterotrophic eukaryotes food vacuole. Uh, among lineages in which secondary and uh, endosymbiosis occurred in the more distant past, many parts of the engulfed allergy have become reduced or have been lost completely. Uh, in most of these lineages, for example, the uh, new uh, nu uh, nucleomorph has disappeared. Notice that.